Katie. Is the book Little Women a, a slap in the face to feminism? Uh, are there little women or just small-minded men who publish books called Little Women? What do you think? Well, first of all, Little Women is written by a woman. It's written mm -hmm. by Louise May Alcott. And it's actually, a, it's a great feminist piece. Jo March, um, she becomes a writer. And one girl dies of... Um, Scarlet Fever. Beth. Oh. Scarlet Fever. And but you don't have a problem with it being called little women. Is that demeaning in any way? Oh, you can't be an astronaut. You can't be an astronaut. You can't be a scientist. It's like Mike, that's I, all in there. I'm that's all in feeling, there. I honestly I'm feeling very suspicious that you have not read the book. And I, on the other hand, have read it multiple times and I have seen both of the movies, my favorite of which. Uh, was when Winona Ryder portrayed, uh, I forget what her character's name was. Claire Danes was Beth, though, I remember. No, she, oh yeah, she was Joe March. I just said it. Okay. Katie, what do you think about when you watch football? Um, I don't really watch it. I just mm -hmm. point my head towards the TV and then I right. go away inside my mind. So I could be thinking of any, you know, I create stories and I think that you're yelling a lot. You know, I usually notice right. that you yes. know, you're yelling. One thing I love that you like to, um, you like to talk to me when you watch football as though I have any idea what's going on. Like you will, you'll be like, what is he out of his mind making that call? Like, really? What is that foul? Is that foul? And and I'm just like this. Um, yeah. Katie, who's your favorite team? The purple. Yes, I love the purple. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I was pretty sad to see that they did not make it to the Super Bowl this year. And that once right. again, we have a lot of red tones, which is not my favorite, not my favorite color um, and not my favorite color for football teams. Katie, you are a great actress. Um, what's your motivation for accusing me of being dehydrated? <laughs> well, that's not acting, Michael. That's, no. that's science. Oh. Um, and that's, that's actually, um, you know, you, you run around over mm -hmm. the summer, you went jogging when it was 80 right. degrees and then you, then you got a mysterious headache and no one could figure out why. And, but I knew, but you wouldn't listen to me. Uh, is active listening an important part of this relationship that I lack? active listening um no but i just think that sometimes like you like i'll say that you're dehydrated and then you'll be mm -hmm. like no no i'm not and then tony will say that you're dehydrated and then the next time i talk to you you'll be like i was talking to tony he said i'm dehydrated so i got a water bottle now and that that, that makes me mad because i feel like you listen you listen to tony more but as a result of that, because I'm not an active listener, do you think that um, our relationship could be evaporating? Really, Michael? I don't know. Um, Katie, <clears throat> your parents live in Indiana. Um, when is the next camper jamboree? It's a multiple part question. When is the next camper jamboree? Why was it canceled this year? And what was Mimi's reaction? <laughs> The Camper Jamboree wasn't canceled this year. My parents okay. just had a smaller Camper Jamboree. Um, I think Mimi went over and said hi to everyone from a distance. But she... Could you explain to the listeners what the Camper Jamboree is? My parents live in Indiana, and every year in late July or early August, they have their friends come to their farm. The friends bring their campers and they stay for a weekend. They have bonfires. They, everyone brings their dog and the dogs play together and they call it a camper jamboree. And this year they are going to get t-shirts made. Okay. 
Um, Katie, while in Aruba, what's your hat schedule? <laughs> well, I have I have two hats now that I've been in Aruba. I have right. bought myself two hats. One is a visor. Mm-hmm. One one is a casual visor. I wear my visor when I'm running errands. Okay, it has a floral okay. print. It says Aruba. When I am going to the beach, I wear my much larger visor, which has a 30 SPF. It guarantees 30 SPF. And um, that's my senator's wife hat. And so I wear that hat when I'm on the beach or when I want to uh, intimidate the cleaning lady. Okay, but the first hat that you'd run errands in, is that kind of like, I'm a tennis pro, I'm kind of on the verge of being a tennis pro, like, I, you know, I might go pro, I might not, I don't know what I'm going to do. What's the, what's the yeah. energy behind that hat? I would characterize it as a mom who has taken up tennis to reclaim part of herself and falls in love with her younger tennis instructor. And what about the senator's, the senator's wife hat? What's, what's the energy behind it? The energy is, you know, um, uh, the energy is like, I, I, the senator's my husband. He's very busy. So I have to have an affair with my chauffeur and that's that's played by you. But would you say there's a certain amount of arrogance with that? Because I feel it when you're wearing the different hats. I feel the tennis pro energy with the first hat. And I feel the arrogance of being a senator's wife with the second hat. Your thoughts? I don't find, you know, I think you're projecting that onto me. Because I, when I am a senator's wife, I don't feel that I'm arrogant. That's probably how other people perceive me because of my hat. Because I'm making a statement with my hat. But I am a kind-hearted person who just wants to be given the same love and respect that I give the American people. A kind-hearted person that won't talk to a stranger in a gazebo, your thoughts? I am the person that will talk to a stranger in the gazebo if they they approach me. I invite people to the shows and none of those guys that were talking to me even ever came to the show. So it just goes to show what they were really interested in. Pop quiz hotshot, a divorcee, and a lizard approach you at the same time, who do you pay attention to? Um, the lizard, because if I'm worried about the lizard, then hopefully the divorcee will get, they'll get um, snubbed. That's been Bad Cop, Bad Cop, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>